Once upon a time, there was a labor shortage. It became so bad that employers would hire anybody or anything. Yes, sir. Take this gentleman to suite 666. Yes, sir, sir. Just one more thing. I'm a tired man. I gotta have my sleep. Plenty of it. So see to it that I get lots of peace and quiet. Because if I'm disturbed at any time, I'm gonna bust you right in the nose! Likeable chap, isn't he? May I go to my room now? I'd like a little rest. Yes, sir. If it's peace and quiet you're looking for, then brother, you hit the jackpot. Because if there's anything we've got plenty of, it's good old peace and quiet. Right this way, sir. As I was saying, you couldn't have chosen a better spot for peace and quiet. Yes, sir, brother. This is your lucky day. Peace and quiet. And another thing, Sam, I said, did it ever occur to you how much peace and quiet we've got around here? Did you ever notice how we're just slopping over with peace and quiet? And here we are. Sweet 666. Let's see now, uh, the key to the grand ballroom, the, the key to the broom mountain slop closet, uh, the key to the solarium, uh, the June moon spoon room, the snack bar, and, uh... <laughs> ah, here it is. Just drop them any old wear. You can hear a pin drop. You bust in here and bust out with a whistle, and you snafu the whole works. How in the name of all that's reasonable do you expect a guy to get his slumber when a goof like you goes around making noises like a one man Fourth of July celebration? He needs peace and quiet. It's positively outrageous. <laughs> Yes, sir! For very meritorious service, you are herewith promoted to the position of manager. Take over. Noisy little character, isn't he?